Peter Slipper is looking an isolated figure tonight as the nation's leaders squabble over who's responsible for his political longevity. The Prime Minister is accusing the coalition of turning a blind eye to Mr Slipper years ago. Tony Abbott says he only got to be Speaker because of a squalid deal done by the government. Through it all, Mr Slipper denies the harassment and criminal allegations against him but is saying nothing more publicly. Here's Chief Political Correspondent Mark Simpkin. <laughs> no scent of scandal here. Fabulous colour. This is a Dendrobium Julia Gillard, a hybrid orchid named after the Prime Minister. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, uh, very nice. Julia Gillard's travelled 6,000 kilometres and brought some baggage with her. Prime Minister, should Peter Slipper resign? Thanks a lot. Prime Minister, should Peter Slipper resign? Peter Slippers put himself in the sin bin while allegations he misused his cab charge account are dealt with. I believe the decision he made to step aside was the appropriate decision. Some of the allegations date back years, well before Labor made the Liberal turncoat speaker. I don't claim to know Mr Slipper personally or well, but I formed a professional judgment about his ability to do the job. This is a Prime Minister who did something squalid and tawdry to shore up her numbers in the parliament, it's now ended in tears. Not to mention in court. In this statement of claim, a staff member accuses Peter Slipper of using his position to pursue relationships of a sexual nature with young male employees. This Prime Minister doesn't get it. She just doesn't get it. When it comes to the seriousness of this, she's essentially making light of sexual harassment. I am very concerned that Mr Abbott is behaving more like the leader of a lynch mob than the leader of the Liberal Party. Mr Abbott can't have it both ways. Tony Abbott attended Peter Slipper's wedding. The Liberal and or National Party uh, had endorsed him at nine consecutive elections. If Peter Slipper is still in the simbin when Parliament resumes, the government's margin will be razor thin. That's why Labor wants him back in the Speaker's chair immediately if he's cleared of the criminal allegations, but the opposition thinks he should remain sidelined until the sexual harassment case is heard, and that could take months. Key crossbenchers still back Labor, so as things stand, the coalition can turn up the heat, but it can't bring down the government. Mark Simpkin, ABC News, Canberra.